right there is Comet Ison. Heading towards the twilight glow in November, morning twilight. We have east over here, west is over here, south is below, and north is at the top. Four planets are visible starting November 17th. Saturn, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. Comet is now in, in the morning twilight glow. Mercury and Saturn pass very close to each other on the 26th of November. On the 28th of November, Ison is at perihelion, Thanksgiving Day. If it survives, it should start to reappear early in December. <clears throat> Here we see it coming out of the morning twilight glow. Mercury is now gone, and we're left with just three planets in the morning sky, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. And the comet will move up towards the North Star. It's getting closer to the Earth, and will be closest to the Earth the day after Christmas. Comet is now passing somewhat close to M13 in Hercules, December 22nd, 23rd. On the 26th, Ison is closest to the Earth. It's in the circumpolar sky. farther from the sun, so not as bright as it was when it was closer to the sun. Now it's passing right over the Little Dipper, beginning of January.
this sequence shows Comet Halley. Right now in October of this year it is uh, pretty far from the Sun. It is not quite to aphelion yet. It's still moving away. Put things in motion. On in the year 2023, it is at aphelion, 35 AUs from the Sun. Neptune is about 30 AUs from the Sun. Halley's orbit is tipped out of the plane of the solar system, mostly below the solar system. It spends most of its time way out there on the far side of its orbit. Kepler's laws, of course, say that it moves very close or very fast when it's close and very slow when it's far away. <clears throat> we'll move in close to the inner solar system as time moves forward. Here comes the comet. And we'll stop it in June 2061. This time, the, when it comes by, it will be on the same side of the solar system as the Earth and it moves in the opposite direction around the Sun from the planets. So as 2061, the summer of 20, or 2061 moves by, it will approach the Earth very quickly. And very close to the time that it's closest to the Sun, it is also closest to the Earth. Late July 2061. along and does pass pretty close to Venus. A view from Venus would be quite spectacular, but from the Earth we'll see Venus and Halley very close to each other in our morning sky. Or is that evening sky? We'll see. We'll take a look here momentarily. And then off it goes again to return in 2134. Now we'll look at Comet Halley as seen in the sky. Start off with the morning sky, starting in June 2061. June 20th, the comet is very close to the Pleiades star cluster, Seven Sisters. Here we see the comet right over here next to the Pleiades. turn things around so that the audience is facing towards the north since the comet will pass through the northern part of the sky. We're showing the twilight glow again. But the sun is a little bit farther below the horizon than in the previous ISON sequence. Crescent Moon and Saturn and Halley all grouped together in the morning sky on July 14th, 2061.
late July, it disappears from the morning sky. Now we'll take a look at the evening sky, starting on July 23rd. We have Venus over here in the west, in the morning twilight glow. August, and the comet is moving towards Venus, moving away from us. little grouping of a crescent moon, a comet, and Venus on August 18th, 2061. So mark your calendars for that evening. It will be a spectacular sight in the sky. August the comet is gone. 